Hello there and welcome back to my videos. In this video I will show how you can install the Ubuntu Bungie on a Hyper-V uh, environment on Windows 10 or Windows Server. Ubuntu Bungie is um, it's look like it's uh, around uh, trying to do the Mac OS style just on the Ubuntu way. So let's go in ahead and click the download button. And the version I will show you, it's the Ubuntu Bungie 24. And you can just click here on the direct download. And then you download it down and that's fine. I already have this version on my computer, so I don't want to uh, wait until it's uh, downloaded finished. You can see it's uh, requiring the four gigabyte of memory and uh, that's no problem so let's go back for the hyper-v and install it. right click on your host and say new and virtual machine and then i will just say ubuntu bungee and it's a desktop uh, 20 zero four i don't think it's never will become a server but that's good practice. And then I'll say the sandbox. That's the version so I, I know in my uh, environment and all my hosts I can use this to play around because it's not nothing uh, nothing I need to save. And then we need to generation two and uh, four thousand and ninety two. And I'll disable the dynamic memory because high we is not always know that. And then we're going for external switch and I want to place it on my big hard drive here on Hyper-V and only allow 100 gigabyte that's fine and then we're going here for my Linux uh, ESO files and then we say finished when it's finished we need to go into the settings and we need to disable the security boot and put up to the one more um, kernel. So we have two kernels, that's fine. And uh, that's it. So let's go ahead and start up. When it's starting up here, I will just remove the checkpoint here fast. So we don't, uh, we don't fight with this later, I hope. And uh, then it's uh, booting up with the nice screen and it's checking the disk. That's cool with me. You can skip it with pressing S, but I think that's good to check your hard drive. It's, it's running okay. And then we have the install screen here. When it's coming for the graphical interface. And that's the live CD and what we're going here, it's just to install Ubuntu uh, Budgie here and install it. Double click on it. And just wait until it's uh, it's open the screen here. And I want to say continue here because I want English. And my disk, uh, my uh, um, yeah, go away. and my keyboard is Denny and that's fine click on next and what I want here is the minimized installation I don't like the all the tools is being installed for me and then I want to say download and up the uh, download updates and install uh, Ubuntu Buji and then I want to install third part uh, software for graphical and something like that and then I click on the next and I really, you know, I want to erase the disk on Ubuntu Budgie. That's fine for me. And we just click uh, continue. And we are on the Copenhagen the time zone now, so I can just say this one. And then I will fill out my name and Ubuntu Budgie uh, twenty twenty four sandbox. And then I want my password here. And 
I will not uh, recommend to press this off to log in automatically. I will always use the requiring my password to log in. It's just a security reason. And then it's well, taking a little bit time here to install and when it's finished it will come with the reboot screen. And when it's uh, done, then I say it's uh, having a, a reboot screen. So yeah, you can of course, you can continue to testing and do whatever you want, but now we have installed it, so I prefer we want to restart the system. So let's restart now. And now we have the screen. If uh, something is going wrong, it's staying along and trying to reboot, just turn uh, the VM off and then start up again. And then it's well working. Just uh, tips. Then we are locked in. And you can see up here in the media and the DVD, we don't have any uh, Ubuntu budget uh, image. So we are running on the on the VM, uh, on, the, on the VM's disk. And that's perfect, so it's a little bit laggy, but it's need to starting up. And you can see if you're going down here, you have the Mac OS effect. That's going for software and see about it's starting up. And you can see it's starting up. So let's go for shopping. And you can see all the information up here. And this is the uh, your menu and let's see the desktop settings up here and then we can go in and we just say go away to the welcome image and it's, it's of course it's nice but uh, you have all the styles here you have what you want about the budget uh, settings and we are starting up and down with the application stuff here and that's how you install the Ubuntu Budgie on your uh, Hyper-V from scratch on Windows 10 or Windows Server. I really hope you enjoy this and I really hope you uh, figure out how it's working. And for testing purposes, that will be very nice. And uh, thank you so much for watching. And I hope you want to subscribe to this channel. And you can go in for the button to the right corner and just hit the thing and smash the comments. If you have any questions, I would be happy to answer them for you. And you can see you have some kind of PowerShell here, it's a bit nice. And if you want, you can click on like and you can click on share button. And of course, edit for your playlist, you always can find this. Thank you so much for watching this video and I hope to see you next time. Thank you for subscription. See ya.